Hello students I hope you all are doing very well at home So let us start with our new chapter Venice the city of canals So it is a very beautiful and an interesting chapter about Venice Can you imagine yourself going to your school every day by boat Well this is how children in Venice go to school So now the narrator is saying how will you feel if you go to the school in boat every day and this is how students in venice go to their schools located on the banks of adriatic sea in italy it is a beautiful city of venice the city is built on hundreds of small mud islands wooden pillars are fixed in the mud on which house and buildings are constructed so venice is very beautiful and it is located near adriatic sea in italy and it is made up of small small mud islands on which house and buildings are constructed and strips of sea criss crossing these islands are the famous canals of venice boats are the only means of transport in venice so now the narrator is saying that the boats are the only means of transport in venice because there is a criss cross because there are strips of trees criss crossing everywhere so boats are transport are the main transport as no other vehicle is allowed inside the city these boats are known as gondolas and its drivers is known as gondoliers a gondolier stand on the river side and row the boat with the help of a long pole so now the boats are known as gondolers and the the people who row the boat are known as gondoliers however these days motor boats can also be seen in the canals of venice so now the narrator is saying that even after gondoliers there are various motor boats also present in venice there are about 170 canals and 400 bridges students 400 bridges in venice two of these bridges the rialto and the bridge of sai are world famous which is the most important canal known as the grand canal and runs through the heart of the city it is like any big and busy road in the main shopping center of the city so this canal looks like a big shopping center where everyone is coming in and it is a it is like a very busy road students it is like any big and busy road in the main shopping center of the city both the sides of the grand canal are lined with shops and carefree shoppers tourists keep moving up and down in their gondolas which means that on both sides of the canal there there is a busy market going on and there are many shopping centers and many malls and it looks like a busy road venice is very old city for hundred of years it was most important center for trade between europe and the empires of the east so not, not just that venice is the city of canals but it was also an important center for trade between europe and the empires in the east many many years ago it's it also emerged as a strong sea power and gradually developed into an empire at the height of its power it came to be known as the queen of adriatic it became a very rich city students that boasted of several magnificent palaces and hotels built by merchants so so many merchants came there and saw the beautiful venice and saw that there are so many canals so they started building palaces and hotels years and years back only some of the palaces have now been converted into museum and library students the libraries contain rare books and records which tells the early history of venice what do we mean by rare books students it means some 
some books which are very hard to find or the records which are very precious and the records which are very precious for the younger generation to read and outstanding collection of painting by venetian masters is exhibited at the academy of fine arts hundreds of students all over the world attend venice school of architecture art and music so that they may learn the finest points of art so not just venice is known for canals it is also known for palace hotels many rare books and records but also for its art and architecture and students from all over the world who want to learn art and architecture end up coming to venice because it's so beautiful all big cities have parks and gardens where people like to gather and meet one another in venice it is saint mark's square that is the hub of main social activities saint mark's square is a large open space carved with marbles there are shops and restaurants all along the sides of the square which are favorite meeting places for the tourists and residents of the city so now here the narrator is talking about a garden which is named saint mark's square which has become the hub of main social activities and every tourist come here sit down in the garden and the park and enjoy the weather and the art and architecture of venice and appreciate it brightly colored tables and chairs are arranged all over the square to provide ample seating space what do we mean by ample students ample means sufficient so the seats are sufficient for as many people to accommodate in that park friendly pigeons keep flying around and come near the table to be fed tourists enjoy throwing bits of food to them and watching them eat so friendly pigeons come in this park and tourists become friendly with them and give them some of the other kind of food to eat often there is a band also playing merry tunes to regale the visitors what do we mean by regale it means to mix visitors enjoy and to rejuvenate the older and a happier memories so there are times that even musician circle around this corner and start playing music for the tourists lying there on one side of the square stands the saint mark's cathedral one of the most beautiful and colorful building of italy it was built in 11th century it is made up of colored pieces of marbles and have a 50 pillars students so now the narrator is talking about a new saint mark's cathedral church which is across or on the side of this park and it is made up of colored pieces of marbles and 50 pillars at the main entrance of the cathedral stands four exquisite bronze horses which were brought to venice in 13th century so what do we mean by ex exquisite which means excellent something to look at which is very pretty and elegant and royal so there is a very exquisite bronze horse which was bought to venice in 18th century tourism is the chief economic activity of the islands of venice the spectacles of beautiful buildings reflected in canal water attracts tourists all over the world venice is also famous for its exquisite glassware which means exquisite crockery and things made up of glass etc crockery everything so venice is also famous for that right venetian glass workers are so skilled that they can make glass 
of any color of or all sizes and blow it into wonderful shapes so now the narrator is saying that venetian glasses are so pretty and the workers working there are so amazing that they can make a glass of any color of any size of any wonderful shapes and mix and match right it would be a mistake to imagine that life in venice is all roses what do we mean by all roses students it means that not always happy so now the narrator is saying that during winter storms flood water swept through the islands covering the waterways and damaging buildings as venice has so many canals and so much of water so the water is actually damaging the building eventually slowly and steadily and due to so much of water there are so many chances of flood storming in the gateways and damaging the buildings and getting inside the house of the people which troubles the people who are living there so much seafood is the main course of a typical venetian almost all venetian are roman catholics they have their own festivals that are celebrated with great joy and enthusiasm the feast of the redeemer commemorates at the end of the plague that struck venice in 1575 so now the narrator is saying that sea food is the main course of the people living in venice and they have so many festivals that they enjoy and the feast of the redeemer commemorates so what do we mean by commemorate students it is about celebrating or remembering something that the people of venice went through so it was the end of a plague that struck venice in 1575 during this all night festival in july this is the festival the redeemer festival which happens in july musicians perform in illuminated boats along the canal what do we mean by illuminated students it means something which is sparkly or lighting right so the boats are decorated with all kinds of lights and it they are illuminating illuminating means lighting along the canal a regatta or a gondola race is held each september so now a gondola race or a regatta happens every september the beauty of the city of venice has been described so often and so vividly that even a first time tourist feels he is visiting a very familiar place what do we mean by vividly students it means clearly a first time tourist who is going to visit venice is going to feel that he is visiting a very familiar place everything looks exactly as it should the water lapid palaces along the grand capital looks as perfect as in pictures you feel you are in an enchanted world of palaces and clear blue sky far away every day world you may be so used to time seems to stand still caught in the serene beauty what do we mean by serene students it means pure beauty so the narrator is saying that venice gives us a very clear a vivid picture and there are so many beautiful places and grand canals and it is a land of grand canals and it is very enchanting world of palaces this brings us to the end of the chapter students i hope you all enjoyed thank you so much